folks, I'm here with the 5,000 novice non-pro world champion, Ron Davis, who rode Kit's little headliner. Congratulations to you, you, Ron. Thank you. Tell us, what does this win mean to you? Oh, it means a lot to me. I raised him. I had his mama, so I kind of enjoyed it. What do you like about this horse? Oh, he's gotten a lot stronger as the year went on. You know, he's always real greedy. He you don't ever give up on him. Okay. And tell us about your go-rounds here at the World Finals. I didn't get along real good here. I didn't get along real good the first round. And the second round, I got tangled up on a cut a little bit. So I didn't do real well. Not like I'd hope, but we were here. Okay, so you had a solid lead coming in, $10,000. Um, what was your game plan with that kind of space? Well, that's why I wanted that kind of space. You just you don't have to worry about getting through runs here. It's, it can be real difficult sometimes to get through these runs. The added pressure of actually being at the World Finals? Well, that, and if you can be caught, it's real difficult. You know, mentally you're stressed. You know you can be caught. So that's in the back of your mind. The leader's always the one with the target on his back, so... Harder to stay ahead, do you think, sometimes than catch up? It's Yes, it's a lot harder to stay out front than it is to catch whoever's there. It is psychologically. I wonder why that is, but um, you obviously maintained it. It's because when you're the leader, everybody's aiming for you. Nobody's aiming for that second place horse. They're always aiming for the leader. And how do you find competing in the water arena? Oh, uh, it was okay. I didn't like it as well as, as the main pen, but it wasn't bad. And um, how satisfying is it to know that this um, horse is a product of you? You know, you've done everything with it, bred it, raised it. Um. It a lot more yes. yeah. And ha tell us about the year on the road. How, how hard, easy was it? Any, any stories that stand out? Well, there really isn't any stories that stand out. I mean, it's just a real consistent horse, so there wasn't anything real spectacular throughout the year. But it's just a lot of runs and a lot of miles. Did you have to go um, to as many shows as you thought? or? Um... Yeah, I pretty much had it planned out. I showed him 120 times, counting the finals. So how strategic do you find you have to be in terms of which shows you go to and you know how the horse handles it all? Well, you just, you're just you looking at how far away you are from home, what the added money is, what the entries are going to be, you know, what your odds of winning are. You, know, you, you take that all into consideration, then you take the cows and the ground and everything else and what pins your horse works better in. So you've won at least um, 40, more than $45,000 for the um, year. Does that come close to covering your costs? Mm, well, it helps, but it doesn't cover them. The on-the-road costs, it does real good to, on that, but the home expenses don't get covered because you're not working. You're not home. What do you do? Oh, I do a little bit of everything. So can you ever do it on the road or you have to really be at home? I have to be at home, yeah. So that, that makes it a bit tougher and yet you still manage to make the success? Well, yeah. you just got to decide what you're going to do and do it and figure out how to handle all the rest of it later. And so why does it make it, what is it about cutting that you love? Why is this all worth it? I've been doing it a long time and to me it's the funnest sport of all of them. I mean, it's you against the cows. You're not, it's not you against the other competitors. And what are the plans for next year then? Try and pay for this year. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, ma'am.